August 9th, 2006. The day Maurice Claret hit rock bottom. I was like, I'd rather die than be in a situation. Armed, drunk, and wearing a bulletproof vest, Claret led police on a chase after failing to stop for a traffic violation. He was prepared to end the situation with a shootout. And that was more like from the desperation of like just being tired of living, you know what I mean? Uh, understanding that if I did have a shootout, they would kill me, and I was just totally fine and cool with it at that moment. But that moment passed, and Claret was arrested without incident. A month later, Claret agreed to plead guilty to armed robbery from an earlier case. He was sentenced to seven and a half years in prison. It was there his mindset changed. I just started to realize that my life was worth more than what it was at. While in prison, Claret made a vow that once he got out, he would never come back. So the same ambition he had toward football, he applied toward educating himself, reading as many books as possible. But Claret admits change didn't come easy. You, know, you have so much bad behavior, so many bad habits that you set in place to put you in a situation. And so you're fighting like this dual mentality. And I, I just applied what I knew. You know, I just applied what it was that I learned and I applied the wisdom. After three and a half years of time served, Claret was released. How to get your life back on the right track. He now tours the country as an educational speaker, hoping his story will inspire young people to really think about the choices they make. His message, surround yourself with positive people. Your relationships ultimately uh, assist you in going to where you're going, or they, uh, uh, or they keep you in a space where you're miserable and deprived from a better life. While there is no more end zone for Maurice Claret, he's still hoping to score with good grades. He's taking classes at Ohio State and wants to graduate within two years. When they look back to me in history, they say through all the stuff, through all the struggle, through all the strife, through all the pain, this man still came back and, uh, and walked back in the face of people who thought he was over. 